The interactive paint blends wet into wet and how it differs from conventional acrylics. So I'm just slapping on some yellow um, interactive paint and adding a little bit of cerulean blue to it. And at the moment it's working just the same as conventional acrylics because it's all wet. And by brushing the paint around like this, pushing it together and then smoothing it out with horizontal brush strokes, I'm getting quite a nice blend. With conventional acrylics, it would start to go dry pretty quickly. And then that would be it. You'd no longer be able to continue to blend. Uh, but with the, uh, these uh, interactive acrylics, it differs quite considerably in that it doesn't form a skin and dry as quickly. It starts to go tacky. So the brush now is really dragging on the surface of this tacky paint that's resisting my flow. I can't blend that easily any longer. And if I touch it with my finger, I can feel that tackiness. So that tells me it's time to spray it with some water. So here we go, a little quick spray ordinary tap water and carry on blending. Let's really push the paint together. Finish off with a gentle horizontal swipe of the brush a few times and there that's giving me a lovely even coat of green colour. Painting needs to be filling in and blocking in all the uh, major shapes. So if I start off with the sky I'm going to use some cerulean blue, cobalt blue Let's have a bit of ultramarine as well. Lots of white. And I'm just going to start pushing those together on the mixing area to give myself a variety of blues that I can dip into quite randomly. And now start applying it. I'm not using thick paint particularly now. I've got quite a lot of water on the brush and sweeping it across fairly rapidly and randomly at the moment. Let's thin that out on the canvas, pushing it into the grain of the canvas, right up to the edges. So all that's done is given me a random layer of filling in colour that I'm happy with is giving me the overall tone that I eventually want in my sky. Still with fairly thin paint, blocking it in, not trying to do any detail obviously at this stage, just getting rid of the white canvas. Spray the whole thing with water now to keep it moist so that if I choose to I can blend some of the colour together and get rid of the white canvas showing through. So there we go, the moisture of the water is keeping this acrylic paint supple and mobile and I can take out the white of the canvas by pushing it about. It can go into that blue and blend with it. At the moment the paint is blending very easily so there's no need to spray it with water yet. Still easily blendable, so that's fine. Starting to get a layer of cloud showing now in the sky, which is rather nice, I think. So I'll we'll carry on into the lower sky. I could leave some of the underpainting showing through if it looks good. I don't have to cover it all up, of course. Let's just check the state of the paint up here. It's starting to feel a little bit tacky. So I'm going to spray because I may well want to be blending up here again yet, I don't know. So to be on the safe side, a little bit of a water spray on there. Now that I've sprayed it, I can confidently go back in there with a duller colour to merge into the blue. There we go, it's merging nicely. Look, that's taken some of the brightness out of it. I'd better spray it again with water because it's sure to be starting to get tacky up here. Just buys me some time to put in a stronger line of suggested surf. Using the 
very fine end of the brush to put a, another line of white in there, again to suggest a wave coming in. Building up colour, texture, interest in the grass. Holding the brush quite loosely um, halfway down the length of the brush to uh, get loose movements, fluid movements of reflected light that there was. There we go. We can spread it out on the canvas just by adding a little bit of water to my brush. Building up colour, texture, interest in the grass. Raking it up like that. And then putting the same highlighting colour elsewhere. This rock's dry, so I can put some over here. <coughs> 